Joining me today are two guests, Naraj Bargava, CEO of Energate, and Pete Delaney, Chairman and CEO of OGE Energy Corporation. Well, we started out several years ago in 2007. Uh, we came out with a 2020 goal, uh, I think which is important to lay the groundwork for this, which said we're not going to build any more power plants until the after the year 2020. Because we had a need out in 2016 for about uh, 400 megawatts. And given the cost and everything it required to build a new plant, the environmental liabilities, we said let's work on the demand side. So we started a pilot uh, on demand response. And you know we have about 6,000 customers that we've had in a, in a pilot for two years. And we've seen that we've been able to significantly drop the demand by sending price signals at the peak hour of demand. Uh, again, we know you build a power plant to provide that last kilowatt hour, which is uh, you know at the highest point of demand for the year. And the rest of the year, that you may be using a lot of that plant. So if we can shave that peak, we will save our customers a lot more money, be much more efficient. And so we've had a great deal of success on, on the demand response so far, but with a small amount of customers. Yeah, Energate is a home energy solutions uh, partner, and we're delighted to be working with OG&E. And as Pete shared, uh, you know, there's a very lofty set of goals here to get uh, 200 megawatts plus out of the system over the next decade. So working backwards from that, uh, Pete and the team at OG&E set some goals that says we need to get 1.3 kilowatts per home for about 20% of the consumers in OG&E's territory to achieve those goals. So they set off on, on experimenting and doing some pilots and studies and understanding different technology options and different program options and found that there are ways to achieve those goals. And so, for example, Energate's smart thermostat can receive the price signals from uh, the utility over the AMI networks uh, and allow the home to automatically adjust the air conditioning load based on those price signals. So at a peak time, why run the air, uh, air conditioning at the same level? Why not re reduce that load during peak time and uh, manage the uh, con comfort in the home at different times? Yeah, I mean, the, all our customers were doing a lot of education. You know, we started out in 2007 and shared the notion with them that, hey, look, we're coming forward now and we're going to give you tools. And the whole concept was if you participate with us and it'll enable us to avoid building a power plant and you'll save money. And they sort of got that. Uh, and so we've done, whether it's radio, television, social media, all types of avenue to start educating them about the fact that it actually costs different amounts to produce power for them during different times of the day. Not a lot of, not a lot of customers understand that. This is not their business, it's ours. So there's a lot of basic education that has to happen so they can really appreciate the value proposition. Two-way communication opens up a whole new opportunity for, for utilities and for our global managing of energy use. So, you know, to start with, uh, that whole dynamic pricing model is really enabled through two-way communication. We now can not only measure how much a consumer is using, but when they're using it. So we can now align the energy use with the actual cost of generating the power. So if, if there is a higher cost, which there generally is at peak time, now the consumers we can measure and give them motivation to manage energy use more effectively as well. So the two-way communication enables dynamic pricing programs like we're doing at OG&E. But there's a lot more. I mean, from a smart grid uh, value point of view, detecting outages, uh, understanding the consumer behaviors, distributed generation, there's a number of facets to two-way communication. But to your question, as far as the consumers are concerned, uh, there's a, a rich opportunity now to manage energy use more effectively. So whether it's on their smartphone app, whether it's on their iPad, whether it's on their portal, they now can manage energy use more effectively. And so having a convenient way for consumers to engage is, a, is enabled through two-way communications. Naraj and I were talking uh, uh, earlier this morning about that. It could be, you know, five to ten years, ten years before we're getting really the full value. Uh, and getting to offer everything we can to the customer through functionality, through lower costs, what have you. 
Uh, we're getting benefits today to our customers, but the real full uh, value of it will not be realized for you know at least five years down the road, in my opinion. I'd like to thank our, our guests, Niraj Bhargava and Pete Delaney, for joining us today on Smart Talk. I'm Sam Tornaveni, and we'll see you next time.